I received the Smartphone Type S98 Pro from the company Doji. It is a very robust device with a large battery capacity of 6Ah. The screen is also pleasantly large with a diagonal of 6.3 inches, corresponding to 16cm. I'll stop rattling more of the specs now, you can read all of them on the website of how open is this gadget. I accepted the offer to record a video of the S98 Pro mainly because of the three cameras installed on the back, two of which particularly sparked my interest. One is for night vision with high sensitivity to infrared light, the second centrally mounted camera captures thermal images. The S98 Pro is advertised as a rugged phone, but I will not check this statement in this video. I won't dip the phone in water or cover it with dust, nor will I throw it off the table. In this video I'm going to focus more on the capabilities the S98 Pro offers for tinkerers like me. And for me, a really useful computer must have a physical keyboard. Bluetooth is available and with that a keyboard is quickly coupled. Connect via VLAN to a Raspberry Pi on which the Apache web server is running and you can start programming a robot. If the S98 Pro is connected to the internet via the mobile network, the robot can be controlled from far, far away. A live broadcast on my YouTube channel during which you can control a robot with the S98 Pro mounted on top is scheduled for the not too distant future. This brings me back to the cameras. This video sequence was recorded with the main rear camera of the S98 Pro. The spotlights in my video studio generate plenty of photons and in bright ambitioned light, the S98 Pro shoots videos with high contrast of the steam engine. If I turn down the light intensity, the image becomes noticeably grainier, this also applies to my studio camera that I usually record my videos with. That's where camera number 2 comes in. This is particularly sensitive to infrared light and still delivers impressive images even in low ambition light, but no longer in color. The camera records high contrast grayscale videos. When it gets really dark in my video studio, the S98 Pro automatically switches on two built-in infrared LEDs which illuminate the area. My studio is pitch black for my studio camera and the human eye, both of which are not sensitive to the infrared light. However, the night vision camera still records a high contrast, perfectly focused video. Switching to camera number 3 brings back color, but no real colors. It is a thermal imaging camera that records temperature values. The hot areas of the steam engine emit lots of thermal radiation making them bright light sources for this camera. For electronics tinkerers like me, the thermal imaging camera is a very useful tool. You can see quickly which components on a board are getting hot during operation. In terms of computing power, the S98 Pro fully meets my requirements, everything runs smoothly. 
However, I'm not that kind of person that constantly calls for more memory, computing power or data throughput. Playback full high definition videos... Scroll smoothly while surfing... ...or navigation via GPS... ...it all works without any problems. Head northwest on Bergstrasse toward Grabenstrasse, then turn left onto Grabenstrasse. The large battery charges from 10 to 80% of its capacity in one hour with the included power supply unit. The smartphone and the charger become lukewarm. Ninety percent are reached after another quarter of an hour. Two SIM cards can be inserted for a connection to mobile networks. If you run out of storage space, you can expand it using a microSD card, so that there is no need to connect to any cloud. There is a third tray in the drawer for that. Or you can store the photos and videos on a USB stick. This also works without any problems using a tiny adapter, so the S98 Pro is a versatile tool even outside of any cloud. High resolution photos of the S98 Pro as well as full resolution photos taken with the cameras are available on the website of how open is this gadget. With that you can get your own impression of what quality the cameras deliver, without anyone babbling about what you should think of this gadget. Thanks for watching and I'll be back!